Hey, so it's cold today. Oh, hence the scarf and my hand looks like a mess. I need a shower. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and you're probably wondering, not wondering what this video is about because I probably have it in the description. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, I'm out. I managed to tell my grandparents and my mom. Um, I told my dad. Um, can't really tell him in person, so I just kind of messaged him about it because I've never seen him in person. I could only really message about it. Um, but they all seem pretty okay with things. They're probably more confused than anything else. And I think for them, in a way, it kind of answered a lot of things that they weren't too sure on when I was uh, younger. So at least this kind of helped uh, make them realize what the hell it was as well as myself. <laughs> um, told my family and they were uh, cool about it as well. I think they're just getting used to the name change and everything like that. Um, but I think that is just a habit that takes time to get over. Um, what I will explain is how I told them. Um, so first I kind of told Nan and I just kind of asked questions about the situation to kind of see her thoughts and feelings and opinions on it. it. Made it seem like I was doing a study and research on things. Um, not the smartest way to go, but for my situation, it was the only thing I could think of that wouldn't be too suspicious, I guess. Um, sometimes you just kind of have to gauge things a bit more subtly to see where your parents stand on things, because I really wouldn't want people putting themselves in a potentially dangerous situation, because for a lot of these topics... It's quite, uh, some people can get a pretty bad on these things and I don't want to accidentally, uh, I don't know, just be careful and be safe and everything. So I just kind of gauged the situation to kind of see how things were going and then basically it was like, hey, you know, this is me and I felt this way my whole life but just had absolutely no clue as to what it was and tried to kind of I guess answer as many questions as possible okay um what was I saying um so yeah I just gauged with the situation answered questions and all of that said if they wanted any Questions they were more than welcome to ask. I think one thing that helped Nan and Pa was asking if they wanted to see my gender therapist and kind of talk with her about things so maybe she could answer things in the point of view of a professional because for some people they want to hear it from a professional rather than from you, I guess. Um, I guess not to discredit your feelings or anything like that, but more just to kind of have a bit of better understanding on it. Um, and I think these things take a lot of patience as well. Um, for my mom, I just told her um, Pa's initial reaction wasn't the greatest until I was calm and explained things a little bit better, and then I think he kind of got it. Um, Still, <laughs> I don't know. At, at least they're doing okay. Uh, family were fine. I just kind of set them all down in a room. I Skype called one of them who was, lives too far away for me to really talk to her in person. Um, and that's about it. I don't know. That's kind of how I went about things. Tried to answer questions as honest as possible. Explain, you know, I haven't really felt like, I don't know, just be honest, and I think eventually they'll kind of get it, you know?
I think that's the only thing you can do is just be honest and kind of let time go about its way. This is more just like a patience kind of thing. Um, I know it'll be interesting in six days time. I have my endocrinologist appointment and I am excited and nervous and everything in between. It's really far away in like the city again, which is where all my doctor's appointments and stuff are. I don't know why Nan's sneezing so loud. I mean, I sneeze loud too, but my goodness. Um, um, I have that appointment and um, I think that day or the day after I'll be studying my testosterone. Um, and I chose to use the roll-on D, like, deodorant testosterone. I haven't really heard many, like, reviews or anything on that. I have heard about, like, androgel and the, in like, shots and everything. But I hadn't really heard too much on the roll-on deodorant. But I chose that one because it's a bit easier for me to apply it every day and only go to the city every six weeks rather than go there every three weeks so you can see why I chose that I um value my time and don't often have the time to travel uh, that far every three weeks just because when you have two jobs and you're doing stuff it can get a bit awkward but um that's what I chose and I'm I guess officially out now and going to do my name change stuff soon at births deaths and marriages in Victoria so I kind of got to travel to that next week I got all my stuff signed by the police um all you basically do is kind of download the sheet, print it off, fill it out, and then get your stuff signed, and then you go to Centrelink to change your gender marker, and that's where you get your doctor to sign the uh, form, I guess. Um, so I'll eventually go through that process and maybe try and explain things to help you out a little bit better, or a little bit more, I should say. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the wingspan. Wow.